Shalom Bahashim Yahweh Hokudesh Israel, this the Trouble Minister, Prince Charlene Dean, Ben Ami Montezayam Ben Yasha Allah Senior, the mighty Hebrew. I give all praise and honor to Yahweh, the supreme, intelligent, powerful one of our forefathers, Avagaham Yiks Gak and Yaikov, those striving for righteousness' sake all over the planet Earth. I say unto the family, Shalom Aleichem. It's definitely an honor and a privilege to be here, Yisrael. Um, I have to, you know, do what I have to do. I was asked by members from the Universal um, Council of Israel to um, announce the verdict of Sabar. Matter of fact, let me read it directly. Let me get to it, y'all. As a matter of fact, before I get to it, let me invite some people um, to spread this word. Hold on, y'all. Let me get to this. So, I see y'all piling up now. So, what I'm going to do is let me just invite some people first and foremost. Um, the verdict had came down from the Universal Council of Israel. There was a court hearing against Prince Israel, also known as Prince Khazaridar, in Israel and Autumn Jordan, Israel. We're going to get into that, so let me um, invite some people. Yes. Uh -huh. So, yeah. And also, there was a couple of people that wanted to for me to hit them up as it pertains to this. So, there we go. Here we go. So, yeah. Benjamin. So, yeah. I see y'all coming in. Uh, Anthony Thompson, um, right. um, yeah, so let me, uh, this is a sad day, but it has to be announced, this has to be dealt with, and this has to be stopped in our community, and judgment must stand. Judgment must stand. Okay, there we go. I see him. Okay, yep. Got you. Let me call this over Yep. Yep, we can't have this in our community. Okay. I think I invited enough people. Everybody spread the word. Um, share this live. Okay. You will also see the verdict on my Facebook page. Um, I will give you the, the participants or the active judges that were involved. I tagged them judges in. Also, I see a few of them already on here. Um, and I'm going to not only read the verdict, I'm going to expound as to why Prince Israel, also known as Prince Khazari Darbin Yisrael, spiritual leader, or I would say former spiritual leader of Temple Kifraim out in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, as you can clearly see, we over here at the International Hebrew Israeli Sovereign Nationalistic Supreme Court that I'm a co-founder of, that resides in Mitzpah Ramon, Yisrael, along with Nasik Amaniel being Eliezer, HaKohen. There's no biasness at all for Prince Israel. It is in fact my spiritual Abba who brought me into the culture 30 years ago. But right is right, and wrong is wrong, period. Um, there's no partiality in judgment. 
when it comes to the law, statutes, and commandments, and when you violate such as this, being an abomination is worthy of death, but because we're not in our own land, only thing we can do is exile you. And the stakes ante up from 10 years to 25 years um, that both Prince Israel and Autumn Jordan Israel have been basically exiled from the Hebrew nation of Israel for 25 years, which they bore actually on themselves for disobeying and dishonoring the Zakwanim when those that are before you, your sovereign peers, you are to appear out of honor and see the disrespect had to cause the Universal Council of Israel to force them their hand to impose judgment so rigidly because of the disrespect and on top it also shows an example that there's no partiality in judgment so let's begin i think i invited enough people so let's begin with this yeah you already know i'm gonna say something judah you already know all right so let's read the verdict okay let's read the verdict This should be spread throughout all Israel, near and far, no matter where you at internationally. First, let me read what I wrote. Shalom Ko Yisrael. The verdict documents a sabar for truth or for truth verse Prince Yisrael and Autumn Jordan Israel by way of the Universal Council of Yisrael. Prince Yisrael, also known as Prince Kazari Dar Ben Yisrael, and Autumn Jordan Israel have been found guilty of adultery, lying, bribery, bearing false witness, and covenant. Now have been, now have both been exiled from the presence of the Hebrew Israelite sovereign nation for 25 years by way of the Universal Council of Israel. As a Nasik prince in Israel, I, the mighty Hebrew, tribal minister, Prince Shar Landin, Ben Ami, Moktazar Yam, Ben Yasha Allah, senior founder of Hebrew Israelite sovereign nationalism and co-founder of the International Hebrew Israelite Sovereign Nationalistic Supreme Court in Israel, Northeastern Africa with Nasik, Amaniel, Ben Eliezer, HaKohen, with my seal, stand on this verdict. Yahai, Hebrew Israelite sovereign nationalism has risen worldwide. The active universal judges in this case are as follows. Sarabah bin Yisrael, Dr. Deborah Franklin, Moray Shalem bin Yaakov, Chief Koraf bin Levi, or Lawi and Moray Ektan bin Yisrael. Hallelujah, 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 Yahai, Yahai, Yahai. The Universal Council of Yisrael, Sabar for Truth, was the planet, verse Prince Israel, also known as Prince Kazari Dar, Yisrael, and Autumn Jordan, Israel, defendants. Section 1, charges. Prince Yisrael, also known as Prince Kazari Dar, Yisrael, have been charged with the following. Charge one, adultery, as outlined in Shemok, Exodus 2014, thou shall not commit adultery. Two, Yikra, Leviticus 18.20, moreover, thou shall not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her. Charge two, covenant, as outlined in Shemok, Exodus 20.17, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that's thy neighbor's. Two, Yikra, Leviticus 18.20. Moreover, thou shalt not lie cardinally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her. 
Charge three, lying, deceitful, dealing falsely as outlined in Wahikra, Leviticus 19.11. And ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither shall thou profane the name of thy Elohim. For I am Yahweh, Yahweh. Charge four, bribery as outlined in Shemok, Exodus 23, 8. And thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blindeth the wise and perverteth the words of the righteous. Autumn Jordan Israel has been charged with the following. Charge one, adultery as outlined in Shemok, Exodus 20, 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Two, Wayikra, Leviticus 18.20 Moreover, thou shalt not lie cardinally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her. Charge 2. Lying, deceitful, dealing falsely as outlined in 1. Wayikra, Leviticus 19.11 And ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither shall thou profane the name of thy Elohim. I am Yahweh, Yahweh. Charge three, bribery as outlined in Shemo, Exodus 23, 8. And thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blindeth the wise and perverteth the words of the righteous. Section two, verdict. We, the Universal Council of Judges, impanic and sworn in the above entitled case, do upon our oaths find as follows with respect to the claims against Prince Yisrael, also known as Prince Kazari Dar Yisrael, charge one, adultery, Shemok, Exodus 20:14, Wayikra, Leviticus 18:20, guilty, charge two, covenant, Exodus 20:17, also known as Shemok, Wayikra, Leviticus 18:20, guilty, charge three, lying, deceitful, dealing falsely, Wayikra 19:11. Guilty, charge four, bribery, she mo, Exodus 23, eight, guilty. We, the Universal Council of Judges, impanic and sworn in the above entitled case, do upon our oaths find as following with respect to the claims against Ardom, Jordan, Yisrael. Charge one, adultery, she mo, Exodus 2014. Leviticus, also known, Wayikra, 1820. Guilty, charge two, lying, deceitful, dealing falsely. Wayikra, Leviticus 19.11. Guilty, charge three, bribery, Shemo, Exodus 23.8. Guilty, we the Universal Council of Judges and panel and sworn in the above entitled case do upon our oaths, sentence Prince Yisrael, also known as Prince Kazari Dar Yisrael as follows. One. Prince Israel is thereby banned to officiate as a prince in any form or capacity with any congregation in the world forever. Two, Prince Israel is thereby banned from being a member of any spiritual organizations and or spiritual groups in any capacity in any Israelite community in the world. This ban is effective immediately and shall be in effect for at least 25 years. Three, Prince Israel is thereby banned from teaching in any form, whether in person or virtually using outlets such as Zoom, MS Teams, etc. Nor shall he use any social media outlets such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, etc. to teach to any Israelite community in the world. This ban is effective immediately and shall be in effect for at least 25 years. A, the Universal Council originally banned the Prince Yisrael for 10 years, but due to Prince Yisrael's lack of respect for his elders, this council and the Israelite community, we as the Universal Council of Judges have agreed to increase the ban by 15 years giving him a total ban of at least 25 years. B, Prince Israel failed to attend the final hearing in which judgment was rendered, which took place on today, Monday, June 6, 2022, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
Prince Yisrael was informed well in advance of the day and time of the hearing. See, as outlined in Wayikra, Leviticus 19.32, Thou shalt rise before the hoary head and honor the face of the old and fear thy Elohim. I am Yahweh, Yahuwah. As a result of Prince Israel not attending the final hearing and blatant disrespect of the Universal Council of Judges and his elders, his judgment must be such to deter others within our community from performing the same actions as outlined in the volume Deuteronomy 17, 8 to 13. And the man that will do presumptuously and will not hearken unto the priest that standeth to minister therefore before Yahweh, Yahweh thy Elohim, or unto the judge, even that man shall die, and thou shalt put away the evil from Yisrael. Okay, hallelujah. Let me make sure, okay. Universal Council, yep, 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 okay. Five, Prince Israel is banned from counseling anyone outside of his immediate family forever. Six, Prince Israel must pay Shabar for truth $2,500 in restitution. This restitution shall be paid immediately. Seven, the Ketubah between Prince Yisrael, also known as Prince Kazari Dar Yisrael, and Autumn Jordan Israel has been revoked effectively, immediately by Saul Rabab in Yisrael. As a result of being found guilty of adultery, the union between Prince Yisrael and Autumn Jordan Yisrael shall now be looked at as an abomination before Yahweh, Yahuwah, and the entire Israelite community. One, Autumn Jordan Yisrael is hereby banned from being a member of any spiritual organizations and or spiritual groups in any capacity in any Israelite community in the world. This ban is effective immediately and shall be in effect for at least 25 years. Two, Autumn Jordan Yisrael is hereby banned from teaching in any form, whether in person or virtually, using outlets such as Zoom, MS Teams, etc. Nor shall she use any social media outlets such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, etc. to teach in any Israelite community in the world. This ban is effective immediately and shall be in effect for at least 25 years. A. The Universal Council originally banned Autumn Jordan Israel for 10 years, but due to Autumn Jordan Israel's lack of respect for her elders, this council and the Israelite community, we as the Universal Council of Judges have agreed to increase the ban by 15 years, giving her a total ban of at least 25 years. B. Autumn Jordan Yisrael failed to attend the final hearing in which judgment was rendered, which took place on today, Monday, June 6, 2022, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Autumn Jordan Yisrael was informed well in advance of the date and time of the hearing. C, as outlined in Wayikra, Leviticus 19.32, Thou shalt rise before the hoary head and honor the face of the old man and fear thy Elohim. I am Yahweh, Yahweh. As a result of Adam Jor and Yisrael not attending the final hearing and blatant disrespect of the Universal Council of Judges and her elders, her judgment must be such to deter others within our community from performing the same actions as outlined in Deuteronomy, the body of 17, 8, 13, and the man that will do presumptuously and will not hearken unto the priest that stand to minister there before Yahweh, Yahweh thy Elohim, or unto the judge, even that man shall die, and thou shalt put away evil from Yisrael. Three, 
Artem Jordan Yisrael. Okay, I read that. Four, the Ketubah between Prince Israel, also known as Prince Kazari Dar Yisrael and Artem Jordan Yisrael, has been revoked effectively, effective immediately by Saul Rabab in Yisrael. As a result of being found guilty of adultery, the union between Prince Yisrael and Artem Jordan Israel shall now be looked at as an abomination before Yahweh, Yahweh, and the entire Israelite community, signed and sealed by Chief Kohan bin Lewi, Dr. Deborah Franklin, Moray Itan bin Yisrael, Saul Rabah bin Yisrael, Moray Shalem bin Yaakov. There are pictures below so everybody can see. Also, I would like to read so everybody know near and far, not only does the Universal Council of Judges of Israel have uh, 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 effectively given the decree, we also at the International Hebrew Israelite Sovereign National Supreme Court gives our 100% support of this decision. Family, remember the story, right? In the book of Esther, the first chapter. And y'all remember when King Xerxes called for his wife to come near. Y'all remember that story, correct? Hallelujah. And he, you know, he wanted his wife to come and you know how men are, we like to show the beauty of our women. So Vasnu, she declined from him. So when she did that, that showed a form of disrespect. So the visors, the princes, the chief men amongst the Persian Empire, right? Came to Xerxes, said, oh, yo, you gotta do something about this. Because if you don't do something about this, then our wives will decide to come up against us. And when we impose judgment, they'll say, we ain't got to listen to you because Xerxes' wife disrespected him in the public and he did nothing about it. So because of that, we ain't even got to deal with what you talking about. So what did Xerxes do? He took the advice of the visors and those officials that were in leadership and power and he stripped everything from her. To say all this is to say for all the Nasakim meaning the princess, no matter where you at in Yisrael, with camp, Knesset, congregation, all the Sarim, all the Kohanim, all leadership and power, male or female, need to take this verdict, email, however you do it, put it on social media, and pass it throughout our community worldwide. Why do I say this? because it will stop the abominations that are taking place within our nation. We know what happened. You cannot steal a man's wife. You cannot do that. And this is my spiritual Abba, and I love Prince Kaz, but he has done evil in the sight of our people. So judgment had to be rendered. It was a fair judgment. You know what a bill of divorce constitute. Artem Jor and Yisrael was not divorced from Brother Sabar, period. Let me tell you what a bill of divorce is one more time. If you don't know how to put a bill of divorce together, let me tell you. First and foremost, if you want to divorce a woman, 
you alone cannot have an accusation. Remember, the volume, Deuteronomy chapter 1915 say, you need two to three witnesses. That's real. Because enough is enough. Where's my script back? Where's my script back? Oh, I, I see it. Y'all got to stop playing with the most high. At least he judge you. Huh? You reap what you sow. <clears throat> you cannot, you know, come up against people and judge people for the same crime that you're charged with. But then when it's time for you to be judged, you want to be disrespectful and don't want to show up. As King Ernest said best, your honor has been strict. Your honor has been strict because you refuse to come to the mercy seat of the court and just say, I messed up. I messed up. That's all you had to say. But no, you wanted to be defiant to those that made you a prince. Come on now. The chief, you disrespected him. You dishonored him. So there's no partiality in judgment when it comes to Torah. Debarium, Deuteronomy 19.15 One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity or for any sin in any sin that he sinneth which is inclusive of she right at the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established this is also with the precept of Bamid's bar Numbers chapter 35, 30. When you want to divorce your Isha on that bill of divorce, it has to be two to three witnesses. You can't just make up some. You can you cannot like the sister and just say, yo, I'm a divorcer and that's that. No, it don't work like that. You need two to three witnesses. Now let's go to Dubai Dubaiyum. Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 1 to 4. That's it. Prince Yisrael, you know what a bill of divorce is, and you know damn well that wasn't a bill of divorce that that sister gave you. You know it wasn't a bill of divorce. You taught us what a bill of divorce is. So how are you acting like you don't know what a bill of divorce is? Verse 1, Debarium 24. When a man have taken for Isha and marry her, and it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes because he have found some uncleanliness in her. So that means there had to be some type of violation of the Torah Constitution, right? So on that bill of divorce, you need the witnesses on that bill of divorce that seen violations of Torah Constitution, right? Right? Was that on that bill? No. Huh? Then let him write her a bill of divorce. No snapshot. A handwritten bill of divorce. Stop playing. The daughters of Israel, you cannot let them walk away as harlots. And you not showing up and being disrespectful and knowing that Saul, Zakwai, Rabab, and Yisrael made the ketubah non and void, you are not married to that woman. That woman openly said she was a harlot. And she should have been charged also with harlotry. Because after she left from the presence of Sabar, she lacked. Three men body her before she got with Prince Israel. Wickedness. And we wonder why we have a progress in this nation. You cannot commit adultery with another man's wife. Period. All these single women out here. You had to take somebody else's wife 
And this is not the first time you've been involved in this. You did it to Takaya. Took that man Isha. We told you, man. We told you to stop it. You refuse to listen to the peers amongst you. This is serious business, man. Because we in the time and the season now that it's time for us to move as Hebrew Israelite sovereign nationals. Took that man wife from Texas. You know what you did, Prince Israel. Took his wife. And what I tell you, I told you in front of your sovereign peers, in front of Moray Roots, in front of Saul Rabbi, in front of everybody, get that man back his wife. And you refuse. And you thought, yeah, you thought you was getting away with something. And you know, Yah let the measurement run its due course. You met the wrong young brother when you thought you was going to take his wife. He has something for you. And don't say, oh, you know why you coming at him and this is... He put this out in the public. You put it out there, pictures up there of another man's wife. You did that. You put out there videos and tried to throw your strange Isha under the bus and called her a harlot. You know goddamn well she's a, you a prince. You were, you was a prince, man, a man of respect. You built damn near 40 years and you let it all crumble for a whore. That's what you did. Destroyed your family, destroyed your credibility, destroyed your honor for a damn whore. And she admitted it. And instead of you being honorable, and giving yourself over to the mercy seat of the court, you was disrespectful. You know how that make me feel as being your son, spiritual, that I have to do this to you? But no, you didn't want to listen. We told you, your sons, we told you, man. We told you to stop acting like that, man. You have a tendency, this goes all the way back to not see y'all both. You've been doing this for years. For years, man. Now your card is being dealt with. And every time you see this man posted, y'all checkmate him. Don't like his shit, because if you do, you condone what he's doing. It's time now to be accountable, Israel. The hell will wait. You gonna come on there and talk about, I'm only here to declare my name. None of y'all can judge me. We ain't no goddamn Christians. We can judge you. The so-called white man, you take his judgment, but you don't. When the white man tell you to come into his court, you come. But when it come to us, you don't come. You crazy or something? Disrespect us like that and don't show up. But that damn white man tell you, no, we got a subpoena for you to come to court. You better come to court. At least we put a warrant for your arrest. That's your problem. All these single women. You could have been inboxing single women. You know how many single women there is in Israel? Why you got to inbox a married woman? Why you got to inbox a married woman talking to a married woman, telling the married woman, oh, can you find an Isha that's like you? You don't even know the man wife. And you did that to another brother. You don't even know the man wife and do that. What you did was you said that to the sister on purpose that she and she'll bait you you know what I mean? You can bait her, excuse me, you can bait her so you can what, take another man's wife? You don't know that sister to be in her inbox like that. You wicked. Judge me. Judge me. Period. Abominations, man. And then you wondering why 
We ain't going nowhere as Yisrael. We cannot let this continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Build a divorce man and give it in her hand. Where and when was this woman given a bill of divorce when it comes to Adam, Jordan, Yisrael, and Brother Sabar that came originally from out of the Sakari camp? You, you wicked as hell, man. You counseling them. Look at what you do, man. Let's go into the psychology of this shit. You're counseling, you Prince Israel, you're counseling Autumn Jordan Israel and Sabar. You're counseling them to keep their marriage nigga. So how is it that one day you was counseling him and the next day you fucking his wife? I'm going to give it to you straight. Straight. So this whole time while you was counseling, you was covenant the man's wife and secretly you was conspiring by way of a cabal to take that man's wife. You an evil nigga, man. You an evil nigga. And I ain't the one, I don't care what you think of me because I'm grown now. You can't manipulate us no more. We adults now. That was back then you can manipulate us back in the Kifaim days in Philly. You can't do that now. We adults with children and we got our own and we have our own congregations and we know exactly, yeah, as the general said, they lucky to be living. You, you came up against Nazi Yashavel, Hulk conspired to kick him off his compound that he found Got him stripped of his title. You was the one, you the same one that went to the so-called white man against his own son. You wicked nigga. You wicked. So now the chickens come to lay their eggs. You reap what you sow. You did what you did to Nazi Yashavel. You, you, you know what you did, man. You know exactly what you did. And now the tables have turned. Now it's your turn to meet your judgment. All of a sudden, you did all that to Nazi Yashavel, and you thought that the Most High wasn't going to come for you? You thought the Most High wasn't going to come for you because you, 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 you wickedly did what you did. You've been trying to, every time I turn around, you always trying to snatch up somebody else's Esha, man. This is insane. Then you disrespect, and then the people that's involved, you disrespect brothers like Nasi Rai. You disrespect brothers like Moray Karu. You disrespect because they all had your interests. Myself, we all had your interests. You making us all look bad. You making us all look bad because we all was involved with you. And then in turn, you turn around and do that with another man's wife. You know that wasn't a bill of divorce, damn it. What does it say? And give it in her hand and send her out to his, out of his house, meaning his presence. And when she is departed out of his presence house, she may go to be another man's wife. What constitutes a bill of divorce? Dr. Deborah, let me tell you, there has to be two to three witnesses that seen the accusations that the East said, right? They names need to be on that bill of divorce. Also on that bill of divorce, the accusations of violating Torah constitution must be stated on that bill of divorce, right? Three, that bill of divorce must be written and put in the hand directly of that sister so she can go back to her father, right? The only way you can take that woman back is she can't lay with another man, period. When she lay with another man, you can never take her back. And remember, she wasn't even divorced from Sabar and she laid with three other men before she even got with you, Prince Israel, if that's true. Personally, I believe he was already popping her. You know what I mean? But that's a different story, a different topic. That's my own personal opinion from the research that I've 
research and the information that was given to me by some of the members of the Universal Council just to look over. And I, that's why I put out there, we is a bill of divorce. Because y'all don't know what a bill, you think you could just write, this is what y'all think a bill of divorce is. I such and such release such and such. Y'all think that's a bill of divorce. That's not a bill of divorce. That don't constitute a bill of divorce. What constitutes a bill of divorce is them three settlement points. One, there has to be witnesses that seem with the Isha saying against the Isha. Two, on that bill of divorce, it must be written with violations of Torah constitution took place. This is Torah. This is Torah. This ain't about snitching. The only snitching and, and, and going against the nation is if you go outside the nation to the so-called white man, which you did, Prince Israel, when it came to Nazi Yashavel's son. Yeah, I call him straight the fuck up. Why the hell are you going to the white man court against your own brother? Goddamn rat. Yeah, I'm calling you out. Because enough is enough with this wickedness. You deal with Israel in our own court. You go to the white man to destroy another brother, but when it comes to your own judgment, you don't stand in front of the congregation. If I known I did something wicked like that, I would just be like, yo, I'm, I'm busted. Look, the mercy seat of the court. All these single women all throughout the world in Israel. You know how many Israelite women that single, beautiful looking Israelite sisters and you could have just easily got another Isha. That ain't hard. Why do you have to keep trying to everything with you? Let's look at the pattern. Nasi Yabo, that was married to Yakira. You had her in your house. You know what you was doing. This is public. It's just, it just wasn't public then because it wasn't no social media outlet then like that. You went to trial. I sat in the judgment seat. Meaning that I was one of the judges when my brothers accuse you of certain crimes. I sat in the judgment seat, saw Rabah sat in the judgment seat, the late Nasi, uh, 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 Kamu, Ben Levi, Ben Yisrael sat in the seat. You was found guilty. And instead of you taking your guilty seat, what you gonna do? Give us a, 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 a alternative to get out of your building in six months to find our own building. Then you go build another building and keep on how wicked is that? Instead of you taking your judgment seat. You know what you did, had y'all books, ex Isha doing shit to her, right? Huh? And then try to justify it and say oral sex ain't, ain't sex. Then you know what you did to Takaya's Isha? Weren't you counseling them? Then all of a sudden, now, this, this, this woman is on your compound? Facts, man. Facts. Yeah, you know I mean, we can pull it out now because you're exiled. Period. Right? Then you do the same thing with Sabar's wife. Why is it that you keep getting caught up with men's wives? Men's wives, man. This is pure evil. Pure evil. Not to mention, we judge you because you believe that you're the reincarnation of King David. Come on. Yeah, you ain't know about this, but we, we from Philly, we know. We know. You, you ain't know about this, uh, uh, Zor Yahoo, Malachi. No, you ain't know. The only ones that knew was us. It's time for us to stop covering up for people, man. If we gonna be the true enlightened ones to the nations of the earth, then we gotta first understand what Tafala is, the root word Pala. We gotta judge ourselves first. We gotta judge ourselves. I ain't perfect, but one thing for sure, I ain't never commit adultery with nobody's wife. I ain't never commit no abominations. I've sinned, but I ain't never commit no abominations. Come on, man, who else that we don't know that you might have done things to people, wives, that we don't know if you did all this and you supposed to rise up 
for the Zakwini. They say, yo, come to court. You, at first, I didn't get it when you said, and I, 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 I hope you, you see this. And I know y'all, you somewhere secretly watching. You say, yeah, you know, I come to clear my name, but no one can judge me. And that, that really puzzled me. And I'm sitting back and I'm talking to my Isha. I'm like, Princess Itana, you know, Abba says such and such and such and such. And, and it just baffled me, right? So it come to my mind. Now I know what he meant. All he wanted to do was just to tell his side, but he didn't want to receive judgment at all. You have a sickness, a psychological sickness. Y'all can look it up. It's called the Messiah complex. And with this Messiah complex, those that are charismatic in their mind, thinking they're the Moshiach or the Messiah, they have this tendency of believing that they're above the law. So when he said, none of y'all can judge me, only y'all can judge me. Basically, what he was saying is, it don't matter what y'all say. I'm just telling my story and I'm bouncing. That's why he never came. That's why he's still pushing out there that he's married to this woman. That's why he's still on YouTube making recent videos, right? Making recent videos. And this woman keeps posting, my husband. Who you think you are, Otto? Who you think you are, man? You, you, you being defiant and we don't even know who you are. You ain't putting no work in Israel. But you being defiant purposely. They're, they're, the posts that they're putting up, the videos that they're putting on YouTube is being defiant against the judgment. You got to see what's going on, Israel. Three. You have to give the bill of divorce in the hand of the woman. So Bar destroyed you, period. All that knowledge you had, Prince Kaz, and you let a kid come in and destroy you, man. You let your lustful ways destroy you. And there's nothing wrong with men. I like women. A real man of, we like women. It's nothing wrong with liking women or a woman. But when you now seeking after other men's, if you notice, you're not even seeking after single women. You're seeking after other men's wives. Why? Why, why is it that you have this fixation of wanting to be with other men's wives? You know what you also did? We could have also charged you with homosexuality. Now, one might say, well, what are you talking about, mighty Hebrew? How could you done that? Simple. When a man goes into a woman, right, he possesses her. When he ejaculates in that woman, you know the seed of a man, there's a spirit in that seed. That's why that woman take on attributes and characteristics of that man, even to the point they start, she start looking like him, right? So if your spirit is in that woman, her spirit isn't in you. Your spirit is in her. So now when a man goes into a woman, he's spiritually having sex with that man's spirit that's in her. So he spiritually is practicing homosexuality. Isn't that why you think we had to get the evil from out of the land? Can you dig it? Why you think we had to get the evil from out of the land? Because not only are you committing adultery with another man's wife, you're violating that man's spirit that dwells in her. Come on, man. You spiritually having sex with another man's spirit. Come on, man. Are you crazy, man? See, you, you, these things you know, though. These things you know. You knew better, man. I could not. I could not just sat back. Let me tell you why I couldn't have sat back. Let me tell you why. Sabar so inboxed me, right? When all this happened, he said, Mighty Hebrew, I respect you, man. You one of the lead, you one of the few leaders that I respect. And I know you're not gonna watch this happen to me. 
without saying anything. You gotta say something. You come at the chemics, you come at all these people that do evil to Israel. I know you're gonna say something about this evil that's happening against me. He put me in a situation where I had no choice. This young man inboxed me every day. Every day. And when he first did it, I said, the benefit of my eye, but I inbox cares. I inbox cares. I talked to him directly. I told him what was going on. He like, man, don't worry about it. It ain't nothing I got. What you mean it ain't nothing? The man is accusing you of adultery. He's accusing you. That's an abomination worthy of death. But since we don't have our sovereign land, what we can do is exile you. All y'all watching this, anything that man posts, y'all better not like it. The only ones he supposed to deal with is his family. And to me, the only wife of his is Princess Ma 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 Dia. If I'm saying Madaya, that's the only wife he got in our eyes. Other than that, that woman or them joy in Israel, that's not your wife. That's not your wife. And technically, even princess wouldn't be your wife because you committed adultery. And if we was in our land, you would be put to death and she would be a widow. So you lucky you having the mercy seat of Yah. Deal with your family, man. Get yourself together. You got 25 years to get yourself together, man. But guess what? You never know if you write in the sight of the most high. Just like a man that's in prison, sometimes he can get leniency, clemency. It all depends on how humble you are. But right now, 25 years, man. And you brought this on yourself. You only can blame yourself from all the years we talking about Prince Kazari Dar being Israel, also known as Prince Israel on Facebook. That's who we talking about. Let me get a picture. Let me get a picture of his Facebook page so you know, and then I'm gonna go to order. So y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. And, and, and look, she, we don't even know who she is. <laughs> she just came out of nowhere. Didn't the scriptures say that a woman can tear down kingdoms? This is evident right here. That's why you have to be mindful who you lay up with. Because you never know that the most high uh, sends somebody to you to destroy you. To destroy you. But you didn't want to, you didn't want to listen. We told you, we told you, man. We said, look, man, get your stuff in order. Here he is right here. That's him. That's him, y'all. We don't respect that. And don't be forgetful, Israel. And look, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Four hours ago, he puts up, a brother has went backwards when he becomes a friend. Next, he, he will be my acquaintance. Then a stranger, brotherhood is everything. Cherish it, guard it. What he's doing is symbolically talking about Moray Kairouts, myself, Sarabah. We know who you're talking about. He's still posting. Your own family sometimes are your arches. Who you think he talking about? Look, who y'all think he talking about? So he's being defiant. Y'all got to see what camp they from. We No, we all from the original. We originally from out of Temple Kephraim. He was the founder of Temple Kephraim. The whole reality is what we're saying is we don't care who you say you are. If you out of line, you out of line. He brought me into the culture. 
He brought me in the culture. He brought us all in the culture. Period. This man is still posting <coughs> like crazy. This man is going in. You see what I'm saying? But what I do see is that a lot of people, they not liking what he's saying. They not, they not liking none of his stuff. Like he's out of order, period. Nobody like anything this man say. At least you be guilty. You know what I mean? Like this, this, this is crazy. Look, you got to see this. Look, this must be a sign. Now I need y'all to see this. This must be a sign. Look, this is an insanity that I'm talking about. So he sees a truck and it says Prince. This must be this, a sign. So basically, y'all verdict means nothing. I'm still a prince. I still do what I want to do. Like this, this guy is crazy, man. You, if you, you don't even respect the people that appointed you in New York a prince, Prince of Paul, Prince, Prince of Paul, uh, 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 um, Chief Kahan, all these guys. You don't respect them, cause if you did, you would have showed up to court. But you didn't. Why? Because you don't have no respect. Huh? You don't have no respect. Last but not least, let me show y'all. This is the woman that helped to destroy. He actually destroyed himself. She just finished it. She put the icing on the cake. This woman belongs to Sabar. That is Sabar's Isha. To this day, that is his Isha. But, well, you really can't even say that no more because technically she be, she technically she wouldn't be no more because she committed adultery. And in that retrospect, by her being exiled, she's not even a part of the land of the, 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 the land of the living. Period. You're exiled from the nation. And I'm telling you, it's really going to be forever. Now I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen. Watch my words. All them going to fade to black. I'm, I already see this. Cass going to deal with her as long as he can. He going to stop dealing with her. And why she get into some type of kinetic, new age, spiritual bullshit. Just mark my words. I, I, I see all this playing out. This is what most women do when they fuck up in Israel. They turn around and get into that mind state. And Kaz is just going to be one of them dudes that's going to be dealing with whoever he deal with that don't know about what's going on. Period. This is why y'all have to spread the word. Y'all have to spread the word. Y'all have to respect the elders and go by this judgment. That's my Abba, and I'm going by the judgment. Evil is evil. Let me show y'all something. Let's see if I'm doing anything wrong by doing what I'm doing. Let's go to the 13th chapter of Debarium for Deuteronomy. Yeah, um, yeah, I hear you, Nasi Rao. Um, he's not even a part of the land of the living no more. It don't, listen, it says, for truthful sake, he showed up to court every day except for the date of the verdict. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm telling you why he did. You got to remember this my album. I know this man. <laughs> so he didn't show up for that because remember he said, I'm only here to clear my name. No man can judge me. It was never about the verdict with him or the judgment. It was only about giving his side of the story, and that was it. That's why he didn't show up for the verdict. That's why he didn't show up for this right here. None of it. But it's crazy that if the white man tell you to come to court, you come to court. There is no excuse for a man in that position, period. He don't respect I know him. He don't respect that. He don't respect them. Because of what he think and who he think he is. We know him. Me, Moray, Karutz, Tayan, Yabok, we know him. Nobody knows this man like we know him. We know him. 
You understand what I'm saying? So we know the reasons, the real reasons why he didn't show up. It is what it is. If 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 we was in our sovereign land, he would be put to death. So there nobody can actually defend one that is dead from the land of the living. Period. He committed adultery. Period. It's fucking abominable. I don't have no allegiance to that's why I don't I don't deal with look, let's go deep into this shit, man. So since Nazi Ra brings things up, much respect to him, but let's go into the mind, the labyrinth of this man. So you counseling this couple. So something in your spirit is covenant this man's wife because this man tell you, we don't need, meaning Sabar, we don't need no more of your counseling, right? But some way, somehow, you fucking his wife. All right. In the process, Sabar puts it out there because you want to be open about another man's wife as your wife. You put it out there. Okay. So now the man is challenging you. You openly apologize somewhat to this man for not coming to this man. But you a prince. Why would you even put yourself in that position when you know you was counseling them, right? So then you go live. You got to hear this. We not airing him out. He aired the stuff out. You go live. Put your own business out there. Openly call her a whore, right? You said wife. Because she admitted that she got bodied by other men, right? Then behind closed doors, you send your said wife to Sabar to bribe him to recant his statement for ten thousand dollars. See, I'm giving y'all the story as to why the charges of lying and bribery and all that took place. So you send this woman to her husband and say, yo. My husband said he'd give you $10,000 if you recant your statement. He refuses. He ante up the price for $12,000. So that there shows us that he knew he was in error. Why would you go to that length to cover up your crime? Come on, man. Let's go to Deuteronomy, the 13th chapter. I said it straight. That's why cats don't like me. For the simple fact, I'm a call. That's one thing. You can say anything about me, but you can't say pour down no abomination on me. I got my own wife. And I'm going to tell you this. I wish a nigga would would do something to my wife for inbox. I kill them niggas. I'm telling you straight like that. I'm killing you. Ever disrespect. I ain't going no court or nothing. The, the police catch me if you can. You will never disrespect me like that. Knowing who I am, and then you try to dishonor me and lay up with my Isha? No, I ain't having it. It wouldn't be me. 13th chapter, verse 1. If there arise among you a prophet or a prince, whoever, right? Or a dreamer of dreams, and giveth thee a sign and a wonder, which is inclusive of Zechariah chapter 10, verse 2, right? Verse 2. And the sign of the one that come to pass, whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other powers, least thou hast not known, and let us serve them. That's inclusive of Deuteronomy 18.22, right? Mm. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or the dreamer of dreams, for Yahweh, your Elohim, proveth you to know whether ye love Yahweh, your Elohim, with all your heart and with all your soul. Ye shall walk after Yahweh, your Elohim, and fear him, and keep his Torah, and obey his voice. And ye shall serve him, and cling unto him. That's inclusive of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 20, along with 2 Kings, chapter 23, verse 3. Verse 5. And that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, shall be put to death, because he hath spoken to turn you away from Yahweh, your Elohim, which brought thee out of the land of Mitzrayim, or Egypt, or Kemet, and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, to thrust thee out of the way which Yahweh thy Elohim commanded thee to walk in 
shall, so shall thou put the evil away from the midst of thee. Now watch this. This is where Kaz come in at. Verse six, if thou brother, the son of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or thy wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is as thy own soul. This man was like, as my own soul. Entice thee secretly, saying, let us go and serve other gods. Now one might say, well, he ain't, he ain't um, uh, um, come at the bull or anybody to serve other power. Yeah, he did. Because anything that's in opposition against the position of Torah is serving another power. Whether it's money, whether it's bribery, whether it's like, they all powers. That's what he did, man. Watch this. I'm going to show you what the Most High is telling me to do. Watch. Watch this. Let us go and serve other powers. Let us go serve money and deal with bribery and lying, adultery, anything that's in opposition against Torah, which thou shalt not, which thou has not known, thou nor thy fathers, namely the powers of the nations which are round about you, nigh unto thee, or far all from thee, from one end of the earth, even into the other end of the earth, thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him, which is inclusive, right? Of she, huh? Neither shall thou spare, neither shall thou count or conceal him. Neither shall thou conceal him. Right? But thou shall surely kill him. Thy hand shall be first upon him to put him to death. What are you talking about? We, his own sons, should be the first ones to say something. And that's why I'm saying something. Ain't no mercy seat. It wasn't no mercy seat when you took the man's wife. It wasn't no mercy seat when you did that to Nazi boat. It wasn't no mercy seat when you did that to Takaya. Ain't no mercy seat when you did all that evil shit to other people and nobody never said nothing about it. Now, judgment is here. And I'm calling it out. I ain't talking about your past life before you was in Israel. Don't let uh, 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 Ezekiel 18 say the things that you did in the past. It's not known if you walk in righteousness. Before you knew you was this, we ain't talking about you are consciously aware of what the fuck you doing, man. He didn't show up Nazi Rob for a reason. That was to be the fine. All you got to do is read his comments on Facebook. Who you think he talking to? <laughs> this is easy mathematics. This ain't, listen, listen. No offense, he's not on my level. You, He can fool other people and all that, but I can read through all that shit. We know him. More Ray Kabu, that's his son. That's my little brother. We know him. He raised me in this culture 31 years. He's talking about we know him. Nobody, no, nobody, even the women he with now can't tell us shit about Kaz. They can't tell. Why? Because he fucking them? They think they know something about Kaz? No, we know him. We know him. And we have a right to say something. If we claim, don't it say, don't it say, thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him, Neither shall thy eyes pity him, neither shall thy spare, neither shall thy conceal him, but thou shalt surely kill him. Thy hand shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterwards the hands of all the people. And thou shalt stone him, him with stones that he died, because he hath sought to thrust thee away from Yahweh thy Elohim. Come on, man, what y'all talking about? No disrespect, Nazi Rob, but that statement shouldn't even have been said. See, the problem is that that's why I never went to the Goshen community. I never went over there. No disrespect to the Goshen community or nothing like that. But the people that was involved, nah. Certain people involved, nah. Not everybody. Not much respect to Nazi Rob. I fuck with him. But certain cats that was down there, uh-uh. Destroyed Nazi Yashavel. 
At least he went underground. I don't know if Nasi Yashavel did what he did. I don't know what happened. All I know is some type of old case brought up or something from the past. I don't know. I ain't getting that. He ain't on trial. But I know there was a campaign, a smear campaign against him. And he took it like a man. You don't see Nasi Yashavel posting up, doing this, doing that. He doing what he underground. Whatever Shemai Israel put down on him, he going by the rules of engagement. And wasn't Prince Israel involved in that? But when it come to him, he don't want to show up. Disrespect. Evidently, it was disrespect because they ante up the, 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 the sentence. So it's not like I'm saying something that they didn't co-sign. They the ones that brought it out. For, I'm co-signing them. They're not co-signing me. The judges of the universal judges of Israel, they're not uh, um, co-signing what I'm saying. I'm co-signing them. They the ones that took it from 10 years to 25 years because they seen disrespect. Still is a brilliant idea. And y'all will see it flourish. Why? Absolutely. And I agree with that. But the reality is, what's really going to flourish is y'all leaving from America. That's why I left America. Because I couldn't build with Israelites over there. When I developed Hebrew Israelites, Sovereign Nationalism, Hebrew Cosmogenesis, Hebrew Anthropogenesis, Archaic, uh, 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 Interdiluvian Hebrew Symbolism, and much more, I seen Israelites, they a bunch of talk in the Americas. They're a bunch of talk still trying to build in a white man's backyard, period. Now, if you're going to build as a vehicle to, to, to take the next step, to get off the grid, and then turn around and leave, then that's a different story. But to still be building in America like the cracker can come up in there and do, you see what he did to Dr. Malachi Z. York? Destroyed him. Wasn't he out in Edenton, Georgia? Building all them fucking pyramids and shit. You know what I mean? Went in there and destroyed you. Yahweh been Yahweh in Florida alone had a $250 million empire. Man, he came under the Rico Act. They put that brother under the Rico Act and took everything from him. David Kowaz, Waco, Texas. Destroyed them. Destroyed them all. Destroyed them all. Y'all need to stop building in America. Y'all need to be coming over here helping me. In Tanzania, East Africa, don't it say... After the 400 year captivity in Bigger Sheet chapter 15, verse 13 to 18, that we would come back to the land of the promise from the great river Egypt to the Euphrates. Why the hell y'all keep building in America? Why y'all build over here? Y'all supposed to be building in the land from which y'all come from. It ain't nothing wrong with if you in America for a period of time. But you got to understand the mind state of Kaz. Kaz's idea was not as a preparation to go back to Israel. His mind, he, he's never going, but he's, he's not on that note. He's not on that note. Why you think he never been to Israel? Like, y'all don't know this man. We know him. I respect those that take a stand and say, you know what, man, we leaving from motherfucking America and we gonna build ourselves. Now, that's not to knock those that's want to live off the grid to the best of their ability in America. But remember where you at. Even when you start talking about the Goshen community just to go in there, who own them roads? We know the science behind it. Them crackers is vicious. The Goshen community should only be used as a vehicle to prepare the people to leave. That's what it should be used for. Not to just chill forever. No. Not to just chill forever, only as a, like a wilderness of the people to prepare the people to leave. That's it. That's what true Hebrew is like, sovereign nationalism. I couldn't have been the founder of Hebrew is like, sovereign nationalism, but I'm still in America. That's dumb as fuck. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. Now, I support the Goshen community because I'm a Hebrew is like, sovereign national. Yes. And... If it's about preparing to leave, then yeah. But if it's about just staying in America, I don't support that. I don't support that at all. I only support those 
who is willing and able to leave from out of the confine. I'm not one of them Hebrews that believe, oh, it ain't time to leave. Oh, you went to the flea doc. Get that. Come on with the weak shit. Be a man and stand up for your own and leave. You will never be able to self-govern in America. Stop playing. The Torah is a constitution. Israel is the body politic. If you got the United States government, if you want to put somebody to death on the Goshen community, uh, on that compound, who you think going to come in? The cracker. Straight like that, man. And I'm not, and I'm not targeting the Goshen community. I'm dealing with reality, man. Put somebody to, that's why y'all couldn't put Prince Kaz to death. After he committed adultery with somebody else's wife. And then he got so much invested down there. Y'all can't even make him leave from the compound. He's supposed to be kicked off just like Nazi Yashavel. Be, be fair in judgment. Y'all put him off that compound. Y'all, he, he one of the main founders of that community. Then y'all, because of what he did, did y'all not boot him out the community? Let's see if y'all do that to Prince Cass. Let's see. This is what's going to determine who's who. Like over here. I found the mighty Hebrew Israelite sovereign nationalistic repatriation movement here in Tanzania, East Africa, right? Oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not disputing that, Lord. I'm with you. I'm with you, Roshima. I'm with you, Roshima. I'm with you 100%. Much honor to you. I see the work you're doing over here. If that's the brother I think that's in Chicago, much respect to you. Yeah, I, I know that. But we'll see. I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself. When it come to that. But when you got so much invested, this is why you got to be careful who you invest in. You know what I'm saying? Because, oh, I know he's not the founder of the Goshen community. I know Prince Kaz not the founder. Sister, I, I hear you. But if you was here earlier, you, you, you would have known. I know Prince Israel not the founder. I'm talking about Nasi Yashavel. You see what I'm saying? That came before Prince Israel. My whole thing is this. Nobody can tell me shit about Kaz, man. You can't tell me nothing about Kaz. I've known Kaz for over 30-something years. You know what I'm saying? So, um, again, the judgment seat is at hand. Prince Kaz, that's my Abba. One brother tell me L.A. means you don't have all the facts. What you mean? That's my Abba. You can't tell me nothing about this. Y'all just met this man. Like, like, come on. That's why I laugh at these cats that try to defend people they don't even know. Like, come on, we know this man. This man, I'm 40, I'm 45. Going on 46 next month. This man know me since I was 17. But you won't tell me about Prince Cass. Is you crazy or something? <laughs> Yeah, he wanted to found this Nazi Rob and Nazi Yashavel. Like, come on, we know, we know the deal. We, 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 we know all that. We know all that. We know it was Nazi Rob and Nazi Yashavel. Come on, man. We know. Nazi, why you think, why you think you had Nazi Yashavel running for mayor and Nazi Rob running for city council? The whole point that I'm saying is we ain't got no time to argue. The man Prince Cass committed adultery. Period. And you had a counsel that came up against him. He was found guilty. That same counsel asked me to put it out there. Even Sabar was like, yo, you the mighty Hebrew. You got to say something. Ain't that your father? You ain't going to say nothing. I know you ain't talking about, but I'm talking about Cass. This is about Cass. And I know what happened at the Goshen community. I know what happened. So come on. I know exactly what happened. I know what went down with Nazi Yashavel and all that shit. But that's not the point. The, the point that I brought up Nazi Yashavel is because if he was judged and put off that community, then the same thing got to happen to Prince Cass. The same thing. We can't, we can't, you know, put out apples and not oranges. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you know I mean, okay, if that's what you say, sister. You don't even, listen, don't even come on here talking, um, Samara. For real, you talking about, because I can exit your ass because you know I don't fuck with you anyway for what you did. So don't even come on here acting like you know something and you don't know shit. 
You know what I mean? You know what happened between you and Takai and that same man that 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 was found guilty of adultery is the same man that you got caught up in some shit. So don't come on my lie with that. Oh, so I exit your ass out of here quick. I'm not the one. And you know exactly who I am. Don't play with me, woman. You go play with one of them kids like that. I'm not your child. Don't come on here talking about Nazi Rob is the only founder, not the other guy. He just made people think that, laughing out loud. Who you think you are? We don't even know you. You're just coming to Israel. This is what I'm saying about these kids that come on here trying to tell us about something. You know what I mean? Okay. Whatever. Well, whatever. Yeah, I know who you are. But like I said, yeah, you know I mean, check your check, check your check that shit. Like I said, Nazi Cass was found guilty, period. We ain't going to cover it up. And like I said, if the Gosham community is only being used just to house people and not to leave America, then it's going to be just like any other shit that we try to build in America. If you ain't talking about leaving from the confines of America, then there ain't no rap. Ain't no rap, period. I'm for those that want to leave America and watch the destruction of America. Ain't that what it's about? I want to see real revolutionaries come with real approaches, period. This, and I said this to you, Nazi Rob, this ain't against you. Man, what you mean don't dis disrespect her? Man, come on, man. She was out of order for what she did to Takaya. Stop trying to, def don't defend her. That's what I'm saying. This is why I'm glad I did this live because it's going to bring out who's who. With the, with the Torah, the Tanakh say it should be best to be silent. Because y'all defending people that got caught up in bullshit with this situation here. This situation with Prince Israel doing this, she was even a part of that, even before that. Before this situation, there was a pattern. That's the point. And just like you said, I know you, you know me. Saying what? What that mean? Ain't nobody doing nothing for me, nor my family. Period. And I stand on my own as the founder of Hebrew Israelite sovereign nationalism. And we here, my team is here. What you say, general facts, big bro, you already know. No, I ain't, no, no, no. You need to fact check, Nazi Rob. Stop defending. First of all, let me, let me check you since you keep, you should have just kept your mouth shut. First of all, you come on here talking about Kez as if you know Kez like you know us, like, like we know him. Instead of you just sitting back listening to what I'm saying. Then you trying to defend somebody who was married to a man that let another man snap. Come on, man. Don't do this. Leave it be, man. Leave it be. I ain't even trying to disrespect you, but you're not going to disrespect me. That's what I'm telling you. You understand what I'm saying? What you say, Elder Terry? I met, <laughs> I met Prince Charlotte, uh, clown and Nazi. <laughs> you already know. It's too many of us on here, bro. Don't do that. Yeah, you are. I'm not, no, no. What I'm saying to you is this. This is what I'm saying to you, Nazi Rob. We all watched it, bro. There was a cabal against Nazi Yasser. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I mean, right. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, who are Yahuda? That's the point. Right, right. This is what I'm saying. My Lord, we judged this man in the past. You ask, your, your question that you asking is 100% Correct. What I'm saying, I see Rob is from the very beginning, I seen your statement. I clearly exit you out of that situation and say, yo, I respect you. Boom, 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 boom. I don't respect the situation. I'm saying if. Well, I don't care. I only care about what you mean. Look, man, I like I said, Nazi Yashavel was put out. Nazi Yashavel was a was a face to that community, period. Everybody know that. You know what I mean? Regardless of you saying you founded it or not, we know when you put it out there, it was y'all two like bosom buddies, right? Then when I see uh, um, Yashavel got put out there, y'all y'all exit y'all stuff from him, kicked him off that compound, whatever happened, happened. All I'm saying is 
the same fate that happened to that man should be the same fate to him, to Prince Cass. That's all I said. Then you want to sit up here and talk about this, bro. I don't see nothing. Right. Come on, man. She know what she did. Well, you know what I mean? And that's what it is. If you don't like what I'm saying, then, you know what I mean? You ain't got to be on this joint. I'm telling you what it is. We know this man personally. That's like me coming to you, trying to defend, trying to come at, you know what I'm saying? That's like me, Nasi Rob. Exactly, Nasi Rob. That's fair, right? If I come to you, right? You know somebody for 40 years, but I only knew the boy for a year and a half. I'm trying to tell you about him. That's what it sounds like this woman trying to do. Like, if she don't get the fuck up out of here, I'm not, listen, I have nothing against Gosham. I have nothing against Gosham at all. What I'm saying is, if Gosham don't do what they did due to Prince Israel, like what happened to Nazi Yashavel, then it's going to be the same fate. Like, that's going to be a conflict of interest. Because y'all did with that what happened to Nazi Yashavel, the same thing don't even got to happen to Prince Israel. Come on, man. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I ain't saying nothing about the Gosham community. I ain't saying nothing about you. I'm saying strictly if he don't get that judgment from the Gosham community, like what happened to Nasi Yashavel, then what are we talking about? That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm putting it out there like that. This is why I left America, because it ain't nothing but a bunch of talk and a bunch of eagles. What you say, Elder Terry? That is why I never joined them group. Yeah, I never went down that joint. Not because of Nazi Rob or any of them, because I've been dealing with Nazi Rob from Benny Adat, resting completeness to his album, or Ray Mishael. I know who he is. That's my brother. I deal with Nazi Rob. But I ain't going to deal with certain players that's down there, period. That's my album. They can't tell me about him. That's why when the chick laughed, I'm like, who she thinks she is? I was on the phone when that incident took place with Takaya. She going to laugh at me. She know who I am. Like, come on, playing these games. Like, if she don't get out of there with that crap, don't disrespect me. This ain't got nothing to do with Nazi Yashav, I mean, um, Nazi Rav. This got something to do with a female trying to come on here as if she know what she talking about. And this the same one that got caught up in some shit herself. Yeah, I already know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we know. The judgment, let's make it clear. The judgment actually happened June the 6th. But because of the disrespect from Prince Kaz, right? They ended up the price. They ended up the stakes today to 25 years. Now, it's funny, right? My whole thing is we have to be careful in who we invest in. What I mean by invest, I don't mean just monetary. I'm talking about putting our heart in somebody. Because when they, listen, man, I put my heart in that man. And he let me down so many times. I had to be my own man and say, I said, you know what? These brothers and sisters ain't really about building no self-autonomous to government. They just want to be a 501c3 corporation and still lay up with the beast. They don't want to be sovereign national. They don't want, they used to laugh at me when I presented Hebrew Israelite sovereign nationalism. I was going throughout all the camps and communities throughout New York, down south, west coast, all over, like, look, we need to come together and leave from this land. This is a fact. This is a historical fact. I went to Benny Adat. I went to I went to DCB. I went to Shema. I went to UPK. ISUPK. Lions of Israel. Uh, 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 um, Nation of Israel was Zabat. I know Zabat. Captain Zazariah. Priest, I'm the one that was the one that defended Israel when, 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 when them comedic scholars was coming up against Israel. I was doing that shit before Nazi Yashavel, Divine Prospect, all of them. I've been, the, the first ones to do that stuff was me, Zabat, and Elder Terry. Elder Terry was doing that stuff out in Detroit back in 1993, 1994. I know, a move can't happen. Yeah, yeah, I... 
I already know Rosh Shema. I know. But I'm just putting it out there on record to make sure the move happened. To make sure. Because if nobody don't say nothing, right? Because the, the, the reality is our people, we don't really respect our leaders because we still under the mental side of COINTEL Pro, counterintelligence program to stop the rise of a black messiah who will electrify the nationalistic aims of black America, right? I'm a real revolutionist for real. For real. I'm not, I'm not one of them dudes that you can read a Bible verse to me and then that's just that. You can't do that with me. I'm Torah only. For real. I'm Torah only. Right? So you can't, I got, I got my fringes on. Oh, I'm in Africa. I'm in Africa. Cats is afraid. You know why they're afraid to come over here? Because they can't do what they do in America. You can't come amongst Hebrew Israelites, Sabbath and Nationals, commit adultery because you do. We want to do something different than just exile. So they don't, they, they, they don't want to come over here. And then the preconceived notion who did it first. Because a lot of them cats don't like me anyway because I'm outspoken. I'm going to say what I'm going to say and that's just that. And like no woman, if my wife, listen, and, and, and the sister keep talking, I sit my isha on. I don't play games. Period. I don't care who she is, who she under. You don't come on this live, laughing like, who are you? You're nobody. you nobody because I know the truth. I was there when all that stuff happened. And we told Kev, yo, man, give Shamir back. Yeah, you can change your name all day long. But we know the truth. Trying to hide the truth. All of it was going, it's like a domino effect. It's like a domino effect. All she had to do is be quiet. Nothing had even been brought up. But you want to come on and, and this, and no, no, shut up. Period. Show us your bill of divorce. <laughs> yeah, to, from Takaya. Like, come on, man. I don't, I, don't I, I hate adulterers and adulterers. I've been through that. I've been through that. When my ex Isha, you know what I mean? So called ex Isha did that bullshit. I've been, when I'm talking about the one from New York, y'all know who she is. And y'all try to conceal it. A lot of them New York Israelites try to conceal that shit when I was coming to them about it. So I hate. Adulterers and adulteresses, period. And I stand on what I stand on. And if let's see how many people make videos. They probably make a video to defend themselves based on what I say. I ain't got no, see the difference, I don't have no legions to evil like that. I don't have no legions destroying Israelite family. Yeah, man. You should have seen them. None of them, none of them said leaders, when I was going through what I was going through, they ain't say shit. Knowing that she was wrong, knowing that she was being wicked, they ain't say nothing, they just watch. That's why I be looking at them dudes like, huh, you the same leaders, y'all ain't even say shit. But every time I see some evil, I stand on the truth. And I defend what's right. But when that evil was happening to me back in 2017, they just why they wanted to see my demise and if you notice everybody that came against me the most high made them crumble and, and i rose if you notice that i don't need nothing from none of y'all but my family that's with me and my comrades as hebrew israelite sovereign nationals straight like that i ain't calling them like yo i need this i need that i need this i need that. i'm in africa the only one i go to is our financial advisor, that's the general. And he, we rolling. And there's thousands of Hebrew Israelite sovereign nationals all throughout Africa, that's my students. Period. What you say, general? He said, we all we need, period. My team is here. Where y'all team at? I'm talking about real Hebrew Israelite sovereign nationals. We ain't Hebrew Israelites. We not Israelites, we Hebrew Israelites, sovereign nationals. I coined that to distinguish from the rest of y'all, man. Because y'all ain't really about what y'all say y'all about. Because if y'all was, y'all wouldn't be, y'all be like, you know what? And I ain't no prince by just enough. Prince Asiel being Israel. To me, the most powerful Israelite on the planet appointed me a prince. Period. Because he's seen something in me. 
pushing where I was pushing. I just got back from Des Moines, got love from the leadership. Yeah, you know I mean, like I don't play games. I don't play games. Period. Like who these guys being backed up by? This guy's wicked, man. He's stealing people' wives and all that shit, man. Nobody don't supposed to say shit. When I bomb him, they don't supposed to say nothing. And all I'm saying is what they gave Nazi Yashavel, they better give it to him. And I'm putting it on record so it can be done. If nobody don't say shit, they gonna let it slide. That's all I'm saying. Period. Much respect to Roshima. Much respect to Nasi Rob. Much respect, yo, Nasi Rob doing a lot for our people, man. I remember Nasi Rob in New York making sure cats had jobs and all that. I remember when I was down there out, I asked Nasi Rob for a job. I mean, it ain't go through. I didn't, you know, I was back and forth Philly and New York. So we couldn't like connect the way we connect. But, you know, when that didn't go through, it was like the most high was showing me like, yo, if you believe in what you teach in Hebrew Israelite sovereign nationalism, y'all going to make it all for it all fell in place. It was like the most high was refining me in the fire. And then when everything was going right, my cousin on your period, what's up, cuz? And my cousin Muslim. And guess what? The Shariah and truth is righteousness. This is about righteousness. I remember I was being ridiculed on social media. Y'all leaders ain't say shit. So I had to be refined in the fire by myself alone and came out as a diamond. Y'all can't. Matter of fact, I'm titanium. I'm 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 Tanzanite. Y'all can't y'all can't do nothing to me. Nothing. Because I serve the true and living power, Yokwa, who the Muslims call Allah. That's who I serve. Period. Period. Y'all can't do nothing to me. I'm telling you, you commit adultery with another man's wife under Tory, you to be put to death. Period. Period. And because we don't have our sovereign land, what we can do is we exile. These people, man. I ain't got no allegiance to none. I don't give a fuck. You, you know why I'm so glad that all the videos, all the slander was put out on me. You remember the movie Eight Mile with Eminem? You know why Eminem beat that boy on rap? Because all those that had something to say when he rapped, he put himself out there. So you can't, it's nothing you can say about me because it's all put out there. Can't say nothing about me. <laughs> can't say nothing about me. Because guess what? I don't run from anything. When cats were saying any little accusations about my past before I was Israel, I never ran from that. I was face up with it. A lot of y'all suckers would have ran and, and hid. Came, came, my Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom Bahashem Yahuwah, who is Israel, Adoni, who is Kobesea. Absolutely, Roshema. I respect you. I see the work you doing. I respect you, man. And you right. But I needed to make that clear because I just seen, you know, what happened to the brother Nasi Yashavel. It was like, damn. So if that happened, I mean, they was they was mass murdering the ball on social media, everything. So I'm like, shit, y'all gonna do that? Them? Let's see if they do it to Prince Kaz. Kakam Malek Milak was there. What they what they trying to destroy me? Aliyah. What they trying to destroy me? Terry. What they trying to destroy me? All on so. Did you see any of them leaders come on and say, well, that ain't that ain't really true about what happened to him in the past? Y'all lying. None of them said anything, but when it come to Prince Israel, y'all say something. But y'all knew they was lying on me. Not none of y'all said a word. You see the biasness that I'm, look, and they all saying it. Now see, Rob ain't come to my aid and say, yo, that's a prince, man. He doing such and such great for the community and all this and that. He ain't say nothing. Prince Israel ain't say nothing. 
Nasi Yasevel ain't say nothing. None of them. None of them ain't say not a goddamn word. They just sat back. The only ones that said something was Prince Asiel. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it was solid. Elias said something. Jeremiah, Judah, cats like that. Cats were insane. Even side Nana. I had to put all my paperwork out there. Even, yo, this man innocent. Y'all bringing something about when he was 17? Y'all ain't said a word. But now when I want to bring out the facts, and it's not like I'm coming on my own accord. It was members from the Universal Council of Israel that said, Prince Charlotte, mighty evil, we want you to do a live on this. I said, all right. I ain't got a lot, so a rabbi asked me to do it. More recall rules, all of them. They said, go ahead. If I can if I can speak out against all the evil, but when it come to my own, I can't say nothing. But them same brothers that just came on, what you say, cuz, jealousy is the worst practice. Yeah, exactly, cuz, salam alaikum. Exactly. So I, I, I was told by the elders, your voice is powerful because they know they don't have the people like I have the people. They, they will never have the people like me because I know how to relate to the people based on this day. They, they still caught up in the dark ages of Israel. Come on, man. That's why a lot of them congregations in Philly, New York, and all throughout America, they, they still, they stuck. They, they waste deep because they don't know how to relate to their youth today. Facts. Philly is a war zone. That go out to Philly and, 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 and talk that Israelite stuff from back in the day. You better get into this time. People with that movie say, show me the money. Ain't nobody but three people helping us out here financially. The general, Prince Asiel. Crown Prince Yosef Arda and my Ima. And here and there, we get a donation here and there. But most of the money I'm putting in my, my own money, they're not helping us, man. Period. So what they say means nothing. When they was attacking me, falsely accused, why y'all ain't come on, on, the, on the lives and say, yo, why you falsely accusing that brother? They sat there and watched. A lot of them laughed. Yeah, let's talk about that. Since they want to come on my live. Shalom. And Takai on here. Yeah, Takai. I had to bomb Shamira out. She tried to come on this joint. I had to put her ass on blast. You did the same thing. Disrespect my brother like that. I ain't come to, te I came to Texas to see my brother. And he cared for you and all that. And then in turn, you devil crossing? Like, come on. Yeah, we know, we know, we know what happened. When they was trying to come at my neck, them, them leaders ain't say nothing about my past when I was 17. You ain't hear them say, yeah, you know he's falsely accused before he was even in Israel. He was 17 years old. The man 40-something years old. Now, what this got to do with that? They ain't say that. They just sat there quieter, quieter in the church mouths. <laughs> Look, even Takaya saying Cain. Got witnesses against you. Don't you ever, sister, come on my lie with that bullshit. I air you clean out. What my cousin say? That's because you a leader. You already know. What Kakam say? That's what I admire about you, Adoni. When they was throwing dirt on your name, you didn't run. You stood firm. All praise them. Yeah. Stood firm. No rap. You see, they got off my live. I ain't come at the Goshen community. I ain't come at Nasi Rob with the most high showing y'all got allegiance to that man. Because if not, y'all wouldn't say shit. Even if I was wrong about something, y'all just don't say nothing. Y'all just wait and then y'all can't contact me privately. That's how princes move with prince. If I'm on the live watching the live and if there's a prince on there and he say something that I may not agree with, I ain't going to say nothing. Because I'm not going to have him show face to them. This is where honor come in at. That's why I'm saying I'm cut from a different cloth. I'm from North Philly. We cut different. 
I ain't being geo, but Philly, we cut different from everybody from the East Coast. We cut different. We know I'm raised up being around junior black mafia, the black mafia. We got a different mind state. If that, let's say hypothetic, if I see Kyle Roots, Moray Kyle Roots, he say something. Let's say if he say something that I don't agree with, right? That may have been wrong, right? I'm not going to openly say he wrong. That's dumb. That's causing him to show face in front of the people. What I would do is wait until his live is done. Then I'll call him like, yo, bro, you might got to recant certain stuff. What's that, um, little bro? Yo, dust, 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 dust. You know what I mean? Big bro, what's that? And then I tell him, dust, 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 dust. That's, that's, that's how men respect each other. That's, that's where honor coming at. You already know, you already know, cuz. No Philly for life. Hunting Park all day. We different. I'm not used to dealing with men that try to expose men openly if they if they in honor. I'm like King Ern, I'm snatching honors from out of Israel. If you ain't on point, if you it's a difference from a sin versus a, a abomination, man. You can't be committing abominations and we just don't say nothing. And it's just cool. How we going to heal as a people if we ain't fat? I bet you if it was me, they'd be coming down on me like a ton of fucking bricks. Even Nasi, Imani Elbein, Eliezer, Hakohen, one of the co-founders of the international Hebrew Israelite Sabbath Nationalistic Supreme Court in Israel, he said right here, so true. Leaders don't uh, uh, buckle before the people, period. Right. You got this evil ass woman coming on, talking all this shit to a prince. I'm a prince. Who are you? You ain't making no moves in Israel. You just camp hopping. Disrespect my brother. He brought you in. Who you think you are? We know the truth about you. Shut your mouth. Don't disrespect her. She disrespect herself. She been disrespect herself long time ago when she left her husband to go into another, to another man. You supposed to left with your husband. You only, you got my brother and his Isha in your house in West Philly. But did my brother leave? Listen, we, we, listen, if you knew he committed this similar crime years ago, why didn't you blow the horn before? We did blow the horn, but this was happening before social media, bro. We, we did blow the horn years ago. We did have court when you had the late uh, 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 um, Prince Kamu, he, he transitioned, saw Rabah. We did this years ago, bro. But social media wasn't in existence like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yes, you did blow the horn, right? He don't know. That's what I'm trying to say. He don't know. I been was exposing this cat years ago. You know what I mean? So this is nothing new to us. It's new. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people on social media, they're new to, they don't be knowing people. So they'll think, oh, this is a new phenomenon. And they don't be knowing people. You understand what I'm saying? So because of that, they'll think like, damn, why they ain't exposed before? What? We been did that. We exiled him and all that for a period of time. And then he came. That's why for a long time you ain't hear nothing from him. So we did do that. But then when he came back, then I don't know where his behavior started again. My whole point is I'm, I was asked to do this. That's that's make this clear. I didn't come on my own accord and just do it. I was asked to do this. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm doing it. I would have did it anyway, regardless of being asked or not. I would have did it. A bunch of zombies before we speak a quiet night. My, my, my little cousin. And that's my blood cousin. Royal Rafiq is my aunt's son. That's my aunt mommy's son. That's my blood cousin. We ain't talking people I'm just meeting on social media and, and all that. No, this is my family. Prince Cass brought me into Israel 31 years ago. You know what I mean? Decades. You got Cass trying to defend him. I just met him six months ago. <laughs> what are you doing? He just met the man. <laughs> I know all his children. 
Brother Step Biological, every Nashim he had. I know the man. The man know my family personally. He used to rent out his apartment to my uncle Duck. Like we know this man. Like y'all can't tell us nothing about him. Nothing. Even Nasi Rob can't tell us nothing about him. Can't tell him. Tell me about this man. No, y'all can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So again, I love Prince Kaz. That's my spiritual album. But at the end of the day, he did something abominable. I love you, proud of you, keep moving strong and honorable. That's all it's about with me. You'll never get me caught up in an abomination, never. I ain't never commit adultery with another man's wife. <laughs> and never will. All these single women out here, you know what I mean? They try to put a room out, yeah, I'm in Africa with all these women lying on me. But let's see if I was with them women. Guess what? They ain't married. <laughs> Can't put that on me. Call me, I have information on this matter. Psh, man, that's my man. What's up, Jean Carlos? He said, call me, I have information on this matter. I got you, man. So, giving all praise and honor to Yahuwah, the supreme intelligent powerful one of our four fathers, Abraham, Lee, Scott, and Yaakov. But I'm glad y'all in the building. I'm going to give y'all a treat, man. You know what I mean? Because there's a bunch of y'all here. It's a whole bunch of y'all. Yo, um, cuz, my new album drop next week. Journey to the Dark Side of the Moon. Give a shout out to DJ Los, the producer. He produced Slaughterhouse. You know what I'm saying? Such and such and such. The boy, John said, Prince Israel is innocent. That ain't going. Okay, man. I wish it was like that, John. I wish, I wish it was, man. But you know what? I'm not going to deny what you're saying. I'm going to let you, when this live is over, I'm going to call you, right? And um, hear that. But you know, when you got two to three witnesses and we had judges and based on all the evidence, the reason why I'm saying he not innocent, right, is when you look at the said bill of divorce, it wasn't a bill of divorce, bro. That's where he wasn't innocent at. Listen, a bill of divorce, John, constitutes three factors in Torah, okay? And I'm going to make it clear again so everybody can hear it. And on top, um, I will call you, little bro. When you get a bill of divorce or give a woman a bill of divorce, this is what has to be on the bill of divorce. You have Deuteronomy chapter 1915. You need two to three witnesses that have seen I understand you saying inside information I hear all that you can have all the inside information in the world the problem is he didn't have a proper bill of divorce listen to me young brother do not defend something that you right take if he take him another wife or fool I hear all that I hear all that but even with that, she didn't go to the elder. See, there's, there's a protocol. I know it is. I know it. Look, even my cousin Emmanuel is on here, which is Prince Kaz's, Kaz's uh, um, cousin, blood cousin. And he not even feeling it. So it's not just me. It's not just Moray Kyle Roots. It's not just Sarabha. It's not just the universal. He has blood family members on this live right now disagreeing with what he did. Listen, I hear what you saying, Carlos. And I know Shemok or Exodus chapter 21, verse 10 to 11. I know that. But the problem with that is she never went to a council of elders or it said Hedrick and said, listen, because I know you're going to say because Sabar took another wife and all that old stuff. And because he took another wife, then he limited or took away from her. 
Now, she would have been in honor if she would have properly went to, you know, uh, 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 went to the Sanhedrin and said, look, this man took another wife and it's taken away from me. She did not do that. So Exodus 21, 10 don't count. Her argument has never been Exodus chapter 21, verse 10 and 11. That was never that sister's argument. Her argument was that a bill of divorce was given. And what constitutes a bill of divorce? Anytime you make an accusation against somebody, there has to be two to three witnesses. Rather, if you're talking about your wife or the common man, there has to be two to three witnesses that seen something that you did that was in violation of the Torah. That's number one. Number two, within that bill of divorce, them accusations of the violation of Torah constitution must be described in that bill of divorce, period. Number three, you have to give that handwritten bill of divorce into that woman's hand. In Islam, they call it a kula. In Arabic, am I lying, Royal Rafi? That's my cousin. They call it a kula. When, when a zoj in Islam, a wife is a zoj. It's the same thing, man. You have to put that bill of divorce in her hand and she must leave from your presence. Go back under her Abba, which is Hebrew for father Arabic, her Abu's house, right? The only way you can take her back, she cannot lay with another man. Now, some Islamic communities believe that as well. Other Islamic communities believe the only way you can take her back, she has to be with another man, then get a divorce, and then you can take her back. There's some Islamic communities that believe if that woman lies with another man, you can never take her back. It all depends on what method you under. For us Hebrew Israelites that's under Torah, if a woman lays with another man, you cannot take her back, period. So when she laid with three other men, three other men before she got with Prince Israel, Sabar could never take her back no matter what, okay? So when you look at the woman's bill of divorce, you can tell, and they admitted it when he wrote that bill of divorce, which none of that stuff was on the bill of divorce. He didn't put nothing in her hand. It was just a snapshot. He wrote, I, Sabar, release such and such. That was it. What are you talking about? And then guess what, y'all? After he wrote that, he still was with her after he wrote that, and he still was buying her. He still was popping her after that. So that became null and void again. There's no way for Prince Israel to get out of this situation, period. There is no way. That's why I'm saying you can have all the inside information in the world. We only can deal with objectively, not you can have subjective information, but the subjective information should have objectively came out to the court. Because if you had any inside information, that could have revealed this man's innocence, why didn't he use it? <laughs> Remember, you can't help him, he only can help himself. Remember, in the Hebrew Israelite culture, each man was sovereign. That's why we didn't have lawyers and all that. Each man had a right to efface his accuser, and he had to defend his own honor. So if he didn't bring out what you saying, then it don't even matter. He's guilty, man. He's guilty, period. He's guilty. That was not a, see, that's the whole argument. The whole argument is, was it a bill of divorce or not? And anybody that know Torah, just basic Torah, know that wasn't a bill of divorce. They know that. Because let me show you how important the bill of divorce is. Say if you want to remarry. Because really in Israel, if you commit adultery, in reality, you can never remarry because really on the Torah, you'd be put to death. So you really can't remarry. But let's say if you, let's say if you get a bill of divorce, right? For something else, all right? And you can remarry. And that potential ish, which is husband in Hebrew, man, man in Hebrew, 
say, and you're going through mikwadash, right? Which is the courting process, right? And the sister be like, yeah, you know, I've been divorced. Then the man got to say, well, do you have a bill of divorce? Yes. He don't even have to ask, why did you get divorced? Because it's going to be on the bill. Come on, man. Do y'all not hear where I'm taking this at? It will be directly on the bill. So then the brother, he can decide if he want to be with this woman or not. But if he got a little piece of paper just saying, I such and such, divorce such and such, what the fuck is that? Then he got to go through all this investigative report and shit. Like, damn, why would why did you get a divorce? Then she's giving her own story as to what happened. Then he going to have to go to do, because there's nothing there. He would have to go through all this investigation first. If it's done correctly, he ain't got to go through all that because everything will be on the bill of divorce. It's that simple. It's simple mathematics. He didn't have a bill of divorce. He committed adultery. He's guilty, period. He's guilty. Like, we know Torah. We know Torah, but I will call you to hear what you have to say and distort. See, the reason why what you're saying ain't going to stand because that wasn't their argument. Their argument was never, yeah, you know, they never enforced that as an argument. And then what really killed him with the gunshot, boom, is when Sabar said, we don't even need your counsel no more. And he was still married to the woman. I'm going to tell you what I think happened, bro. I'm going to be real as a man. I don't even think they waited a year, none of that. Look, man, I just believe like soon as possible they got together, he started popping her, man. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it a bean like we say in Philly. We from the street, man. You know what I mean? Like we won't talk that talk. You know what I mean, cuz? You know what I mean? Like let's, let's keep it a bean. You know, yo, cuz, you know how we play, right? So back in the day when we was on our street shit, right? Usually, you 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 will see a chick, you 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 wanna, and y'all kicking it, and you wanna like that. The objective is to prove what you 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 try and prove. You know what I mean? And from there, if if you pop, you pop. That's a fact. Even my cousin Emmanuel just put up the love, or because he know I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. As men, we gotta tell the truth, man. All that yo, I'm waiting a year. Just like, you know, you ain't waiting no year. Then I can tell by the character of the sister. And if the sister is no, come on, man. We ain't even gonna go there. So trying to defend them is really a useless situation at hand because we all know the deal, man. <laughs> we from the street. We know how I go. I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of this new album, Journey to the Dark Side of the Moon, while I use the bathroom real quick. Oh, you hating. Why would I hate on my own people? I hate wickedness. That's what I hate, wickedness. Oh, you thought, oh, that's his people. He ain't going to say nothing. You got me fucked up. You got me twisted. But this is on Journey to the Dark Side of the Moon, cuz. You know what I mean? It'll be out next week. I need y'all to cop that album. You know what I'm saying? It's on and popping. Let's get it. Found guilty, bro. That's just the bottom line. So, let's get it. I be the night, eat the beam of the 4D, the 4D. I'm a Elohim. I be the night, eat the beam of the 4D, the 4D. I'm a GOD. It's the Elohim, and I'm me. Next to 
one looks like you are me. You're not me, how I be. Vision, I see me, me beyond 3D. Eyes above hills, a shadow to be calm. Like God, can you send to the Yahwa? Kama, golden one, focus, and so on. I'll be the nine, eat the pain. I'm the 4D, the 4D, I'm a Elohim. I'll be the nine, eat the pain. I'm the 4D, the 4D, I'm a G.O.D. From the all I see, the moon thrust and flows within the cosmic stomach. That's Batman Red Mag, 613 commandments. Got how I dumb, top my standing. Chanting, making war cloud sounds of cosmic format atoms to shatter the sound. Barrier the patterns, explode the matter. Born Saturn, red train and Venus chain. Israel, El Rey, Rey, lightning and thunder. We wonder from Babylon to North Philly jungle. Small wonder crumble in the west. Now humble to God's judgment. The fortress of others now coming clashing in the multiverses as poetic verse. In full mental, it's never destroyed the art of noise, basement music, diffuse fusion. We illuminate truth through the trial of Judah. I read the line, eat the beam, of the 4D, the 4D, I'm an Elohim. I read the line, eat the beam, of the 4D, the 4D, I'm a G.O.D. It's the Elohim, and I mean this Raheem, universal door, rock and I. This spot non-stop I scientific God The human jungle not Hallelujah. I'm going to give y'all not the whole thing because I can't because the album come out next week. I'm going to give y'all a little verse to another song. What Kakam uh, Milak said, why would he deal with her anyway when the man trusted him to counsel him and his wife? Period. Period, man. <laughs> That's like me counseling you and your Isha Kakam and then from there you ain't with her. It all of a sudden I'm with her. I'ma give y'all a blessing called two thirds. I see you, Carlos. Check it out. This side's going down. This for all y'all that hate me. This for y'all. Watch with y'all, use your own reach, eat a rock beast, king of the street heartbeat, Jesus turning darkness, the moon falls, mind track like Saul, vanguard of Elohim, the sin that's where my beings died like the enemy, but the knowledge, get lost in translation, sensation, awake the pie me that was hated by your Gentile hate, please by me, execute, did you fate? Blind, star on track like a rapper con. Insane is the membrane on hill, smoking cypress. Vision from the iris of M I N D. See titans falling as prophecy bomb. Compton, silly of the honor. Israel, I heard the calling of my forefathers. In Zanon, from Zinzon, a Zion, a speaking Zinzon. Sins of my evil ancestors saw since the fall from the all. Two thirds will bite like the missus. Two thirds, your lives will be squares. Two thirds, dying from wickedness. Two thirds, rise and retain quick. Two thirds, will bite like the missus. Two thirds, your lives will be squares. Two thirds, dying from wickedness. Two thirds, rise and retain quick. That's all y'all get. Go get that album. Journey to the dark side of the moon. Be out next week in stores.
everywhere. Everywhere. Give a shout out to DJ Lowe's, exclusive producer from Slaughterhouse. DJ from Slaughterhouse. Give a shout out to Laura Melchizedek from Tacoma, Washington. He's also a producer on the album. Give a shout out to Chief Kantar, Tanzanian Bantu, finest producer in Africa, hands down. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm just, I'm just loving it. So, man, y'all, y'all don't even know, man. Y'all don't even know. Keep being great, love you, cuz. Don't give no more energy. Yeah, I'm done with that. It is what it is. I said what I said. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't like what I said. That's on y'all. But since I got a, God, there's more people coming. Oh, y'all missed it. But this right here is off my first album that came out in November. My mental is never destroyed. Yo, man, pray for Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, everybody. Pray for Philly, man. Yo, Philly is doing real, real, real bad right now. The violence is the most highest in the country right now. Yo, man, just pray for the, the people in Philly, man. You know, the murder with the police shooting down. You know, people all over the country are people. White supremacists, they rising all over the country in America doing these massive shootings. You know what I mean? Toda Rabah, Dr. Deborah. I respect you, Dr. Deborah. You, you are a real woman, a renowned, a true daughter of Zion indeed. This is Pop Pop off my album, My Mental Is Never Destroyed. If you ain't cop the album, My Mental Is Never Destroyed, then you, you lost. You better cop it. Go get that immediately. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all not stop, y'all ain't gonna 
gonna stop coming in. Oh my God, there's like 50 something people in this joint, man. Oh my gosh, man. Yo, y'all mad at me? Y'all mad at me? Be mad at me on this. Y'all mad at me? Yeah. Prince Maltazar, y'all know Jack. Also Eagle in the building. That's how we gonna do it. Say pop the fire, set apart, lava, put my sword, east of Ali, image out of rock. 5.5 million incarnated children, dying it was written, with not spin, falling sovereigns and concrete, choke with billions, creature of the law, strong ones stand tall to a wheelchair, crawling, flatliners, lose mind power, conscious talisman, shining the shining, vibrational comments to Congo, violence, hip hop's rising, in the beat boy stands, uphold Yas commandments, breaking Thor's hammer, Yes, pop locking to the show shot non-stop Rip cats like Faka, old school rockin' lottos Who want the flex effects like Dawes? Who want to test the best architect on record? Who want to test the L.O.E. and Mitchell Chess? I'm Buddha, bless the brain noodle See the future of duels Dropping jewels like Santana I bang out any set, then dip, get gang North Philly street slang, rearrange your frame, fuck your dame. You pay for thin niggas, be lame. 2021, lions can't be tamed. Black brain, black brain. Time to exchange a black brain, black brain. A vision looks strange. Black brain, black brain. Strain on the brain. Must maintain the frame from going insane. Black brain, black brain. Time to exchange a black brain, black brain. A vision looks strange. Black brain, black brain. Strain on the brain. I break your fucking jaw, I break your fucking jaw, I break your fucking jaw, and on your face I leave a scar. Play Jason, take Manhattan. If you come to Philly, I'm a motherfucking smashing. Tight is flashing, as we bash like animal and smash. We rich, off with old rags, I'm in my bag. Too many internet dogs me tagging. I'm in the house, I challenge your consciousness. Monkey see, monkey do. Disrespect my e shot in the Hebrews. I battle next. Your root in the dude to the death. Fuck being polite. I'm not your brother. You from the others. FBI undercovers. People under the stairs. Underneath covers. You beneath me. My reach buck 50 features. I'm a beast from west to east. Get body beat like Jelly Who shot you like Vicky? You want beef? Come get me. I bet you won't make it to any safe haven. What? What? You think I'm playing? I'm sharper than the sword Before it's even here The bang into its form Like killer bees I swore Get stabbed with unicorn horns Playing rose filled thorns With much pain Is what life brain Black brain, black brain Time to exchange a black brain, black brain A vision looks strange Black brain, black brain Strain on the brain Must maintain the frame If I'm going insane Black brain, black brain Change a black brain, black brain, official look, strange black brain, black brain, strain on the brain, must maintain the frame for going insane. Yeah, the mighty evil in the building. Disrespect the heroes are like sovereign nation. I'm on the top. You know what you think. Disrespect my Isha. Never that. I'll suffer the stone. You know what I'm gonna do, my prince, my tesoro, huh? The point of evil. Yeah, in East Africa, in Tanzania, you can't stop us. Yo. Go get that album. My mental is never destroyed. Spotify, YouTube Music, Apple, everywhere. It's everywhere. Just type it up. The Mighty Hebrew Mind Mental is Never Destroyed. Give y'all two more songs and then I'm out. Y'all you know I mean? Give a shout out to my Isha. Give a shout out 
the Hebrew Israelite sovereign nationals all over the world. Give a shout out to the kingdom of Yah and the Mona of Israel, Northeastern Africa. Shout out to my cousin Emmanuel. Shout out to my cousin Rafiq. Shout out to the general. Shout out to Aliyah, the lion's den, the source. Yeah, me y'all on my album from the source. I gotta give a shout out to Yeah, me y'all. Yeah, me y'all, y'all. His, his verse is hot. He on my new album. But I'm gonna give you this joint because this is how I feel right now. Snakes, rats, cats. You know what I'm saying? This one I don't really promote much. It's on the album My Mental Is Never Destroyed. That's Giggy. Hallelujah. So it's you. I'm trying for my back. Beaching me. That's not nice. You're a hero. Still, you don't seem like one. I am. Rats, cats claiming that they trapped Never even seen a point, only the ratchet Crying rats in the stabbing Better wear that jacket From the full metal barrel aiming at your cat Pill from a devil in a blue dress Wear a vest from your head down to your chest Protect your neck, inspect the deck Swear from the hex Wise, don't doubt the jet Try to hide from the mister Let's see the bigger picture Never play victim Do so, your life die fast or slow From the pussy or the blink up Flashing, travel down the prison spectrum Full re-injection Welcome to the world of Nexus I master and build minds up like Tetris The OG is what I like better than the letters that I put And my sentences be endless What you doing, my Hebrew? What you doing? Y'all snakes, rats, cats claiming that they're trapped. Never even seen a point. They lie. They ain't never see a point. You got snakes, rats, cats claiming that they're trapped. Never even seen a point. Wolves and all lies. Play commando, get hit like Rambo, move swift like Zonzo, red dot on four years from the llama, we bear from the bottom, cracking in filthy streets, LA we swap me, PPD, LAPD, bomb with the sound, rotten game, less in the game. We will overcome, we had enough show, enough to show gun of lost souls, TMA. DJ Lowe's in the building. Spoles, the wicked Illuminati. What you doing, my Hebrew? What you doing? Got snakes, rats, cats claiming that they're trapped. Never even seen a point. They lie. They ain't never see a point. Got snakes, rats, cats claiming that they're trapped. Never even seen a point. Wolves in all lives. Talking to you. Free from the base, we balance the weight Throughout time and space, going through gateways Purple hazing, we start spraying when the snakes raid in Our haven, we fight to the death as we win Against ice, AK, man, I say ten The rage of Damien, beginning end of existence Y'all who are being witness, Israel heaven risen He brings for life, stop it What you know, my Hebrew? What you doing? You got snakes, rats, cats claiming that they're trapped, never even see a point. They lie. They ain't never see a point. You got snakes, rats, cats claiming that they're trapped, never even see a point.
bitch With a form of likeness, girl, and on that key Nine head, never can't keep not be When the king leave, it should be 4D It's what life's gone forth with the true see See through a little maggie, break down who you leave me The five beans, creatures from beneath the stairs Six feet, devil feet, crack cells Stories, devil cells, fish of all realms Ripping beef hells, a world of hell Realm, nine inch nails, legend like LL Funk is the future, coca dagger Stab Judith, news who's in Light time cruising, on the mission Break one's vision, you to a kill Live as ill will, real see real Bless Bill, look at what's in Knock your life in, like fake rims when did it Bearing this crushed by villains like ninja Diagram full fight, black knight Blow by, look at the blue sky High like kite, Jedi fly Night, fly, night, fly, night, fly, night, fly, night, fly, night. Hallelujah is never destroyed it came out november 2021 next week new album journey to the dark side of the moon you still hear more aol if more aol still here give me a thumbs up i give you a taste you missed it i give you a taste of the new album i gotta see if more aol give me a thumbs up i see you just came and say you watching more ray you there Give me a thumbs up, Moray, yo L. You give me a thumbs up, then I give you a taste of a new album, Journey to the Dark Side of the Moon. But Moray, yo L, gotta give a thumbs up. You gotta do something, you know what I'm saying? If Moray don't give up that green light, then, you know, we don't get nothing. I see Slayer, you know what I'm saying? But again, give a shout out to DJ Lowe's. He, he, you know, he produced... He was a part of the production team on My Mental Is Never Destroyed. He was a part of the production team on this new album that be out next week. Yo, this album, it Journey to the Dark Side of the Moon is it's on a whole nother level. It's on a whole nother level. I mean, the name of the album, the songs coincide with the name of the album. That's how dope this album is. I must say, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful, I'm honored. You know what I mean? I gotta give a shout out to all the Pioneer MCs. I don't see more real well, so I'm closing out with this last song. Pioneer MCs that came before us. Give a shout out to my homie MCLB. You know what I mean? One of the original pioneers of hip hop. He's also a Hebrew Israelite sovereign national. Close brother of mine who inspired me to write this song. Give a shout out to Schoolie D from Parkside out West Philly. Give a shout out to North Philly Finest Tough Crew. You know what I mean? So many that came. Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. 
Oh man, I can go on EST three times dope. Oh man, Slaughter House, Slum Village. You know what I mean? It's 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 it's, it's so many cats that came. Guys Effects, EPMD, De La Soul, Tribe Called Quest. Shit. Uh, uh, um, J. Wu, the Damager. Redhead, Kingpin, King Sun. Oh, man. It, it, it go on. Uh, 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 I said Wise Intelligent, which is Poor Righteous Teachers. Uh, 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 um, Red, um, just everybody. DJ Red Alert. Big Daddy King. Eric B. and Rock M. It go KRS one knowledge reigns supreme over nearly everyone. Come on, Cool G Rap, DJ Spe uh, 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 what's his name Thirty Eight Spes, The Trust, Wu Tang, Killer Priest, Hellraiser, Bronze Nazareth. I mean, I'm going all day, but I'm this is for all those that came before us. Shout out to the pioneers of the movie Beach Street. This is also where I got my inspiration from. I leave y'all with this song, B Street, Shalom, Hebrew Israelite Sovereign Nationalism has risen worldwide. King of the beat, I said I'm rocking that beat from across the street. Uh -huh -huh. Beat Street, the king of the beat, I said I'm rocking that beat from across the street. Uh -huh -huh. Beat Street, the king of the beat, I said I'm rocking that beat from across the street. Uh -huh -huh. Beat Street is a lesson too. Uh -huh -huh. So don't let the street beat you. The crush move, bike move to the sound of the boom. Back before hip hop turned to rap. Beat Street, the king of the beat. Break dance harder than the nimble thunder. Break we rock beats like steady feet across all streets. Rock style like cool hurt, putting their work as women jerk from cutting the scratch. Yes, long live Jake the Jam Master of Wax. Chess transform up with jazz, you live with leap. What was fucking nasty with soul sonic force holding the torch? Cross force is the pop into life forces. Graffiti on the walls became a hieroglyphics. It's what lights and God body drop the scientific in the ghettos of Gosha to God's chosen Republic enemy. All school, all knower. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Beat Street, the king of the beat. I said I'm rocking that beat from across the street. Uh huh, uh Beat Street, the king of the beat. I said I'm rocking that beat from across Across the street, uh -huh -huh. Beat Street, the king of the beat. I said I'm rocking that beat from across the street, uh -huh -huh. Beat Street is a lesson to, uh -huh -huh. so don't let the street beat you. We was here in the past, meet your future driver Judah, and feel the rhythm of beat through concrete. We spat, Curtis Blow, and graffiti with the writers. MCLV, legendary. Kumo D, treacherous three. Walk die, five, 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 two, scooby D. On the wheel, still cash money, long. Live MC Breeze, fresh like Dougie Sex Machine, Bahamut D, Scott the Rock, BBP, glamorous lives like Scoob C, complete next, rest easy E, walking nightmare like Ice D. This is how we chill from 2 1 until we be meet with Mega Heat and Boo under concrete. Uh huh, 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 Beat Street, the king of the beat. I said I'm rocking that beat from across the street. Uh huh, huh, Beat Street, the king of the beat. I said I'm rocking that beat from across the street. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Beat Street, the king of the beat. I said I'm rocking that beat from across the street. Uh -huh -huh. Beat Street is a lesson to uh -huh -huh. So don't let the street beat you.